John has been prepping for five years and has three months of long-term food stored for each member of his family. But he thinks it could take years for their community to fully recover from a Category 5 hurricane. So he's raised one million bees to produce 200 pounds of honey every single year. Honey's definitely very nutritious. Not only does it have your water, it has all your daily vitamins and minerals that you would get from a once a day pill, like your magnesium, your potassium. I mean, it's got all your daily vitamins that you would really require. Unfiltered honey has a low moisture content and is naturally antimicrobial, making it resilient against bacteria that normally spoils food. Honeybees from other hives will come in and try to rob the honey off of this hive to keep from having to eat the honey in their own hives. So we have a rule, everything steals from the honeybee, even the honeybee. Now that John has removed the frames from the hives, he can begin the extraction process. First, John and Hannah need to uncap the wax seal on the honeycomb. All these wax caps right here, we save all that. This is what we're gonna use for candle making. And just work your way down the frame just like this. Caps will come right off. You might find a little bee leg in there every now and again, but that's just extra protein that I throw in. How long does it last? Honey never goes bad. They've actually found honey in Egyptian pyramids that was thousands of years old. Then I'll take the frame from here and put it into the extractor, and we gotta do six of them. Honey that is commercially processed is pasteurized, which depletes it of all vitamins. John wants to maintain the nutritional value of his most prized prep, so he stores his honey raw. He uses an extractor, which removes the honey from the comb using centrifugal force. Okay, so all the frames are in, right? And centrifugal force is gonna sling all the honey out of each one of these frames. And as honey starts flinging against the sides, it'll run down, and when it's done, then we can open it up and let it come out. All right. Once the honey's done running down, then you know that the frames are empty and it's all honey from there. All right, here we go. We just gotta tilt the machine, get all this heavy honey to one side, grab that and open it up and watch the honey run out. Pretty cool. 